Hi hey guys and welcome back to another Maya tutorial. My name is Mike Hermes and today I want to show you guys how to model a very unpopular object and we know it as an ashtray. Um, you can use it in, uh, you know, as an asset in a game setting or in a modeling setting and uh, well sometimes unpopular or not you just need one. Alright so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my polygons menu and I'm going to start off by creating a ground plane like so. And I'm going to select a cylinder. I'm going to drag that out on my grid and drag that up. Not too much actually. And now I'm going to go into my attribute editor and mine's already popped up here, but if not, object select the object, hit control A. And in my poly cylinder uh, tab here, I'm going to increase this to 40 height to 4 and I don't need any caps so I'm going to hit 0 for that and we're going to hit 5 for shaded mode so okay there we go now I'm going to right click on my cylinder go to object mode select it right click select face select my top face and hit delete okay so that's gone I'm going to zoom in on my object a little bit so there we go. That's a little bit much, but okay. As you can see, the sides here are really thin. I want to give that a little bit more body. So right click on your cylinder, go to object mode, select your object, go to edit mesh, extrude, hit R again, and we're going to give it some thickness like so. And as you can see, these walls here are sloping up a little bit. I don't want that. So I'm going to take the little green cube here and I'm going to dial that down so it's a little bit more flat, like so. Okay. Now, maybe we're going to uh, make it a little less high. So I'm going to go to my front view, right click my object, go to object mode, select it. Hit F to zoom in, hit R to scale down to something like yeah, so. And while I'm at it, I'm going to hit W, drag it down so it's back on my grid, and level it out to the center a little bit. It's not critical, but just a habit, I think. And do the same here. Close enough. Okay. Now next is we want to create that edge at the bottom. So I'm going to do that in my front view. So I'm going to go here, hit F, right click on my object, go to vertex, and I'm going to drag select these vertices like so. And I'm going to hit R to scale that out. And you'll get something like this. And while they're still selected, hit W, and I'm going to pull that down just a little bit. Okay. Now let's go to our perspective view and see how that looks. It's starting to look a little bit more like an ashtray. Like so. Now, in an ashtray, you usually have these little uh, holes where you can put, uh, you know, whatever you're smoking in. Ha ha, I'm Dutch. And um, uh, let's see the height here. Okay, so we need to create that. Now we're going to do that with the Boolean function. So I'm going to create another cylinder, like so. I'm going to pull that way, way up. A little bit more even. Like that. That's okay. Make it a little less th thick, maybe. Yeah, something like that. And I'm going to hit Control D. And I'm going to move the copy over. Now, you're probably thinking, what are you doing? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to select these two here. Hit E. Rotate them 90 degrees. And just check if I'm actually at 90 degrees or not. Uh, where'd I go? Here. Minus 90. And I want to do the same with that one. Minus 90. Okay, now we're going to take that thing 
and we're going to hit W and we're going to position it into our ashtray. And I'm going to do that from my uh, view here. And this doesn't matter as long as this is accurate. And I'm going to go to the first line like so. And then from my top view, I need to make sure that I'm yeah, I'm in the middle, something like that. Okay. Now, back to the perspective view, like so. I select that object, select that object, go to uh, mesh, booleans, uh, hit up, oh, booleans, difference. And as you can see, I got the two funny holes here. Now, I'm going to select the next one, hit E to rotate it like so and make sure it's exactly 90 degrees and I'm going to start to position that one as well hit W and we're going to do the same thing there and we're going to position it in the middle like so and we're going to pull it down to the first row like that and we're going to move it over so it covers the whole ashtray. And again, we're going to select the ashtray, select that thingy, go to uh, Mesh, Booleans, Difference. All right. Now, just for fun's sake, we're going to increase the size of the grid, like so and so. Right-click on it. Assign new material. I'm going to go with MIA, hit me a material X. Um, no, actually, I'm not, sorry. Right click again, assign new material. I'm just going to go with a Fong E for the ground plane. Fong E, and make it white. Nice for reflection. White, all right. And we're going to make this a, um, I don't know, maybe a black ashtray. Okay. Right click, assign new material, Fong E, nice and reflective. And we're going to make that black. And then we're going to set up a couple of quick lights, create lights, point light, scale that up, scale it out a little bit, like so and control D to duplicate that light. Pull it out like so. Select these two lights like so. Go to point light shape, shadows, and use depth map shadows. And now we're going to go and render this. So render settings. We're going to select mental ray. Uh, we're going to go to quality. We're going to make nice and high, so production quality. We're going to go to common. We're going to select the size, make it HD 1080, which is a nice high quality. And then I need to get this screen out of the way. Hang on. Like so. All right. And now we're going to hit render. As you can see, it's not taking that long, so um, we we'll just uh, normally I'd pause the video, but this is just going to take a couple of seconds. So. Uh, And there you go. There's your ashtray. I uh, hope you liked it and see you next time. And if you've got any comments, you know what to do. Thank you.